There is always a certain emotion with bad boys that just gives us a tingling thrill and we can't escape their spell. As much as some of the characters were evil to the core, we only fault them for their actions, but not their attractiveness. Hello guys, welcome back to K-Drama for Life. In this video, we will go through three greatest bad guy actors in Korean drama within the last few years. An Bo Hyun. An Bo Hyun was born in Busan, South Korea on May 16, 1988. The Korean drama and YouTube star who is best friends with Sehun of K-pop boy group EXO. Before becoming a model, An Bo Hyun was a boxer. The actor's most notable achievement in his boxing career was a gold medal at the National Amateur Boxing Tournament. Although he loves acting, he actually has no formal training. So An Bo Hyun decided to learn the basics which led him to modeling school. An Bo Hyun charmed the small screen in 2014 with supporting roles. However, he was only really noticed by the audience when he took on the role of Sergeant Im Kwang Nam in the hit drama Descendants of the Sun, which aired in 2016. Starting from here, An Bo Hyun gradually made remarkable progress in his acting career. He attracts plenty of attention thanks to his charming appearance as well as his ability to transform into various roles, especially with the great success in the drama Itaewon class. As the son of Jango Group's chairman and the entitled bully who flaunted his power, An as Jang Gon Won was deeply despised as he made Park Se Rohi's life a living hell. Many people admire him because just a year ago he was still a gentle ungi of her private life, and now he has become an extravagant delinquent that everyone must hate in the Itaewon class. He successfully made his character Jang Gon Won just appearing is enough to make people angry. With each smirk, raised eyebrows to the disdainful type of speech, An Bo Hyun brings out a shallow, arrogant, hot-tempered Jang Gun Won that is very honest. On the contrary, and to the surprise of Itaewon class fans, An is actually charming and nice in real life. South Korean actor An Bo Hyun's real-life personality is the total opposite of Itaewon's class, Jang Gun Won. I think that Jang Gun Won in Itaewon class is going to end up being my favorite character. I think this is a turning point in my acting career, An previously shared via Soombi. He thought a lot about how he can best portray the different sides of his character, from a despicable bully to a son who only wants his father to recognize him. In the end, An felt satisfied with his performance and is thankful to the director. I had fun acting because I was able to show everything that I wanted to show, he said. An also has a YouTube channel called Bravo Hyun. Some of his early videos did not have English subtitles, which of course led fans to request for subtitled versions. He also made a Q&A video and filmed it with a reminder to wash hands frequently and always wear a mask to avoid spreading the coronavirus. Quickly reaching more than 100,000 subscribers, An was awarded the silver play button from YouTube. He even filmed an unboxing of the plaque, saying that it made him feel sentimental and honored. We can't wait for future dramas with new characters from An. Among the ranks of Korean idols turned actors, Oh Tae Young, an actor born in 1988, is a clear standout. A member of the South Korean boy band 2PM, Tae Young proved his acting abilities in K-dramas like Dream High and Save Me. Before taking the lead role as Vincenzo's menacing villain, Jang Jun Woo, the dark comedy became a global success and TVN's sixth highest rated show in broadcast history. We first meet Jun Woo as an intern at Woosung Law Firm hired to defend and protect the corrupt and murderous pharmaceutical company Babel Group. His superiors Hong Cha Young, Jun Yo Bin, a cutthroat and beautiful lawyer who uses bribery and blackmail to win her cases. But behind the innocent face of a young lawyer who's infatuated with Cha Young lurks an evil mind that uses people and ruthlessly kills them after they serve his purpose. Jun Wu's first few episodes are spent following Cha Young around and dropping funny one-liners like can you feel my heartbeat? A cheeky reference to 2PM's 2009 hit, Heartbeat. But his innocent image is shattered in episode 4 by one of the show's many plot twists. Jun Woo is actually the true heir to Babel Group and responsible for its corruption and bloodshed, including the murder of Cha Young's father, Hong Yu Chan, a human rights lawyer hellbent on taking down Babel. Seeking revenge, Cha Young takes on her father's mission, joined by Vincenzo's Cassano. Sung Jun Ki, an Italian mafia member, lawyer, and murderous villain in his own right. Consumed by his evil ambition, Jun Wu embraces his true identity and real name, Zhang Han Suk. When asked about what was your favorite scene to film, Tech Young answered, An unforgettable scene for me is when Zhang Han Suk is giving a lecture and gets doused in pig's blood, a homage to the film Carrie. I had a hard time keeping my eyes open with blood trickling into them. This was a tough scene to film. It was also tough mentally trying to express John Hun Suk's rage at realizing that Vincenzo got the better of him again. The visual footage was shocking when I saw the scene after it was released. It'll stay in my memory for a long time. 
He continued, Another memorable scene is Jun Wu's evil PowerPoint, where he reveals himself as the true heir of Babel. All of the dancing and singing were ad-libbed in the scene where Jun Wu makes a big announcement that he's the true leader of Babel Group. I wanted to portray Jun Wu as someone who breaks out into a song and dance in that situation, an unpredictable villain who doesn't fit into the mold of a serious and scary psychopath. Who knows what is next for Tae Young, but if his history is anything to go by, then it is going to be an addictive drama. Last but not least is Um Ki Joon, born March 23, 1976. He is now a veteran actor who is also famous for being a musical actor. He made his acting debut on the stage with the play Richard III in 1995. The following year, he appeared on the stage again in the musical Oliver. At his early acting career, Um Ki Joon was focused on his musical career. He was cast in a variety of plays. In 2006, Um Ki Joon made his acting debut on the small screens in the KBS2 drama City, Who Loved Her? His first television series, however, was MBC's Kim Chi Chi's Smile 2007, where he played the role of a student who failed his test 10 years ago and became an announcer. He won the Excellence Award in the Category Actor in a Sitcom Comedy at the 2007 MBC Entertainment Awards. In 2010, Um Ki Joon was cast for the popular series Dream High. The same year, Um Ki Joon made his big screen debut with the film Man of Vendetta. The film tells the story of a pastor who attempted to save his kidnapped daughter. Um Ki Joon's acting skills in this film brought him the nomination for Best New Actor in a Film at the 47th Baksong Arts Award in 2011. His superb acting skills won him the Character of the Year Award at the 2017 SBS Drama Awards. Um Ki Joon rose up to the status of national trash as his villainous role in the Penthouse series. Now this horrible character has given plenty of viewers extreme amounts of stress due to his antics. Unfortunately, he was still known for his villainous roles prior to his drama. In fact, he was in several dramas where he was not only a villain, but pretty much just a monster of a person in general. Let's look at his journey as a villain. Phantom 2012, Jo Hyun Min. He began his villain acting beginning with this drama, showcasing his serious and dark side. He was able to earn popularity by the public as well as be accepted for his acting skills. He was able to kill two birds with one stone. Golden Cross, 2014, Michael Jang. Though Um was not the main villain in this drama, he shined his light as a sub-villain, illustrating a childish personality and a weird obsession with guns. The Man in the Guns, 2015, Kang Hyun-woon. Um appears as a prosecutor in this drama, and he showcases his perfect self that has never been lost, and he believes that he is the best. Innocent Defendant, 2017, Cha Sun Ho, Cha Min Ho. If we're applauding Lee Jia for playing two characters in Penthouse, we have to pause to give some of that applause to Um Ki Joon because he successfully played the roles of two twin brothers in this role. This was actually his most famous drama prior to Penthouse, as he killed multiple people in this drama too and tried to be shameless about it. And of course, we cannot forget Penthouse that completely showed the evil of the evils as Ju Dan Tae proudly claimed the title the nation's worst bad guy. Um Ki Joon may seem evil and not so likable on screen, but he is known to be a great guy and super fun to be around. Take away all his bad guy image and he is an amazing person in general. That's today's list. Which character impressed you most or who is your ultimate bad guy? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching.